If you need to order the results of your SQL query, then the order by clause is what you need. In this video, you'll learn what the order by clause is and how to use it. I'll also share which feature of the order by clause should not be used and why. Let's get into the video. The SQL order by feature is a keyword or clause that you can add to your select queries that lets you order your results. When you write a select query, the order of the results is not guaranteed. It might look like it's being shown in a certain order, but this order can change depending on how the table is structured. If you need a specific order, you can use the order by clause. To order your select query, you add the words order by to the end of your query. You then specify the columns that you want to order by. You then specify whether you want the data ordered in ascending or descending order. You can order by more than one column as well, which is helpful if there are ties when ordering by the first column. Here's an example of a query that uses an order by. It selects some of the data from the book table and orders by the num pages column in descending order. This will show all books from those with the most pages down to those with the least pages. So that's how the order by clause works. What should you know about using order by? The order by clause must go at the end of the query. It goes after any group by clauses, after having, and after the from and where clauses. If it's not at the end, then you'll get an error when you try to run your query. There are a few things that can go after order by in some situations, such as the limit keyword in MySQL. But in most cases, the order by will be the last line in your query. In SQL, you can add column aliases to your columns to make it easier to understand. In some vendors, you can use the alias name in your order by clause, and in others you can't. It's due to when the order by is processed and how the database handles it, so you can give that a try. Here's an example. Both of these queries show the publisher IDs and the count of books for each publisher. On the left, we order by row count, which is the alias for the count function column. On the right, we have the same query, but ordered by the count column. So in some databases, you can use the query on the left here. In other databases, you can't, so you have to use the query on the right here. When ordering columns, you don't have to always order by the column name. You can order by a number as well. The number you specify is the position of the column in the select clause. So number one is the first column in the select clause, number two is the second, and so on. This query here will order by the second column in ascending order, which is title. Now, while this is possible, it's not something I recommend. This is because the position of these columns in the select clause may change. If you put another column in earlier in the select clause, it changes which column is used for ordering and the results will change. So rather than order by the number of the column, I recommend just ordering by the column name. If you want to order by two or more columns, you can. You can also specify different orders for them. For example, we can order by the number of pages in descending order and then the title in ascending order. The two columns we're ordering by are in a different order and this is okay in SQL. Another tip for using ordering in SQL is that you can order by columns that are not shown in the select clause. You may want to do this sometimes and it's good to know. For example, this query shows the book ID, title and ISBN for a book and the results are ordered by the number of pages in ascending order. The number of pages is not shown, but you can still order by this field. This might not be something you want to do very often, but it's good to know it's possible. The final tip I have for you when using order by is that it can be pretty expensive to process. What this means is that it can slow down your query, especially if you have a lot of data. If you don't need to have the results ordered when you get the data from the database, you shouldn't order them. For example, if you want to allow the user to order the results when they see them on the page, perhaps it's better to let the application do the ordering instead of the database. But this is a design decision you'll have to make. Just consider that ordering in the database query can be slow. So that brings us to the end of these tips on the SQL order by clause. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which tip from this video was the most helpful for you? Was it the ability to order by a column alias or using different vendors for different columns or something else? Thanks for watching.